Greetings fellow conspirators, Martyrs Vale here, and welcome back to more Minecraft 1.10. On the last episode we built this weird uh, wooden structure you see behind me. I'm kind of proud of it because I used a bunch of different types of wood and it, it doesn't look too uh, too horrid. Like it, it, it definitely looks weird, don't get me wrong, but I kind of like how it, how it works here. We've got the uh, different types of wood that I used for the structural support beams, I guess you would say. Um, so use dark wood down here, or dark oak down here, then regular oak as we go further up into the tower. Uh, replaced the roof up there with birch wood, so we kind of get this effect of getting lighter as we go up. Um, again, like nothing too special, but I, I did decorate a little bit and finish things up, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, around back we've got some weird little uh, decorative things. I don't really know why they're there. They're, they're there for support, that's what they're there for. Um, but basically just to kind of break this thing up and, and make it look a little more interesting instead of just a bunch of flat wooden panels. So yeah, uh, like I said, I like it. Um, not going to be too awfully useful, although I do think that down here we're going to be definitely doing something in this archway, uh, perhaps connecting to other buildings underground or some, some sort of something. Something's going back here. Um, but anyways, yeah, the rest of this is mostly decorative up through here and into the tower. Again, we saw most of this last episode, just uh, wanted to show you in case we updated anything. Um, however, one of the other things that I've been doing off camera, other than finishing this thing up, is building this. Now, I know what you're thinking. It looks weird, right? It, it definitely looks weird. Um, I tried something with the roof that I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna go with, uh, because like basically with these roofs, we just went up one block and it's just stairs and then eventually kind of capped it off flat. And uh, we'll, we'll take a look at how that looks from over here. You know, the, the roofs look not special, but but not weird. This roof, uh, I made each level go up over one block, so we've got an extra block in between each stair, and that makes the roof enormous. Um, it it kind of looks like an overgrown mushroom cap kind of thing. I'm not really sure. Yeah, <laughs> it looks weird, uh, believe me, I do know that. However, um, I think that it could be pretty cool here. Let's hop over here. On this side, I've done something a little bit different. Um, I've sort of opened up a second level, so let's let's see if we can get a little glimpse of it as we fly around. So there you go. You can sort of see a little bit of it. And uh, if we kind of turn back, we can get a glimpse of it this way. We've got another little hanging down balcony kind of thing. And it definitely looks much less weird on this side. Um, so I think that the the problem with the roof over here is just that there's so much of it in this one kind of plane. So I'm definitely going to add more extra rooms kind of sticking out of the roof and I think uh, that'll break it up enough like contour wise and color wise to make it look decent. Um, but anyways, so it is uh, kind of three-ish stories, two and a half. Um, so this is the bottom, the quote unquote bottom story. It's basically just an area that I can, if I'm flying around on my elytra, I can land in here. I wanna have an area like that on all of these cliffside buildings. So on that one, we can kind of fly into the uh, the tunnel, kind of straight on through that way, and then go up if we wanted to. Here we can land on this balcony from any of these three directions. And if we want to, we can hop up here. This leads us to the first level, good no mobs. Uh, I forgot to light this up when I originally built it and uh, yeah, had some mob troubles. Anyways, a kind of an arrowhead shaped room I, would, I suppose, it goes tapers inward like this and then the back is kind of flat. It's a weird shape, I'm not really sure what I'm going to put in here, but uh, you know, we have it. And then uh, we can go up one more level and here's that window that I was talking about earlier that faces out that way. So overall, uh, looks pretty decent I suppose. Um, and but the thing that you might notice is there's no really good entrance. Um, we of course, as I pointed out before, we can uh, land on this thing with using our elytra. However, that's not really an entrance like let's say that we are walking about up there and we want to go into that building. Uh, there's no real way to do that without jumping off the cliffs. So I think that's the first thing that we're going to work on here is try to get some sort of a, an official entrance that's gonna be a little cooler than just a regular old door. So you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So as you can tell from my hotbar, we've got our redstone out, which means we're going to have some fun here. Um, so, entrance-wise, uh, 
the reason why I'm deciding to do kind of a, a different sort of entrance or exit to this building is because there's not actually a good place for one. Um, we do have the bottom like we talked about earlier. We can glide in on our elytra and go up. But uh, if we want to come out on this level and say walk over to here to go into this building for some reason, we couldn't do it. Uh, there's basically if we want to go out on this level, well over here there's open air. Basically all the way around there's open air. And the only spots that it does touch the ground are over here, and it butts right up against the, the um, terrain here. And actually, I, I sort of dug a little bit of this out, but it, it would really come up right onto here. So basically, this side of the building is buried by the ground, and the other sides are just open air. There's nowhere to walk out onto. So uh, we're going to have a sort of a secret entrance. I think, and right about here, this is the center of the building, uh, even though it's a little bit offset by that, this is the center. So uh, let's see here, I want to go down, I guess we should probably dig out a few blocks, like maybe a 3x3, three three, just to get an idea of where we're going to be. Okay, so there's our column, or our support column, the middle column, I don't know, the, the column that marks this very center of the building. and. These should be the walls, yep. Pay no attention to the fact that I left some of this out. Okay, and there we go. So there's the building. Uh, I guess we can break out a little bit more of this. So we're gonna have an entrance somehow here. Let me get rid of all of that just so that we can show just how that works, all right? So the entrance is going to be coming into here, but we are going to have this terrain here. I, I did get rid of it just a moment ago, but that was just to show you where the entrance is going to be. Uh, we're, we're going to end up covering most of this back up so it looks flush with the terrain like it did originally. Uh, however, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Basically, my idea is that we're going to have some sort of uh, a secret entrance with a secret sort of button or lever or maybe some other sort of method to say, hey, I want to go in. And then uh, it'll send out a redstone pulse and we will be able to drop down and into the center of our building here which still doesn't really have anything in it. Don't worry, we're not going for practicality here, we're going for coolness points. So, uh, let me get to work on this. I'm not exactly sure how I want this to work. It'll probably be about here, so we will want the floor to continue in there. I did not bring anything that I needed with me. That's okay. <laughs> I brought all the redstone, didn't bring any building blocks. We'll worry about that later. But we're gonna put it right about here. Uh, the ground is going to come out further this way. So let's see, we've got one to we probably want it about here at about this block okay which means we're going to want a sticky piston and that's going to go down one further you know <laughs> I, want, I want to use my pick not that shovel then a slime block which means we actually can't use this we're going to need some note blocks i suppose and then actually you know we might not even need a slime block launcher if it's only going to be like two, let's see, one, two. If it's only going to be two, we might as well use a double piston extender. So uh, yeah, anyways, I'm just sort of musing here. Let me get this figured out, and uh, when I return, we will have a functioning mechanism. All right, guys, check it out. We have our entrance, and it is, uh, it's a hole in the ground. Huh. Well, that's, that's not too interesting. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just... Uh, Oh, what's this? <laughs> okay, yeah, so obviously we do have a little bit going on here. Um, this is how you get out of this building, at least for the moment. You just walk forward, uh, we got a triple piston extender that comes up here, pushes you off this way, and off you go to wherever you need to go. Um, really quick, I guess I'll show you the redstone down here. I did not design this, so I'm not going to really go over it, but basically uh, the pressure plate is right above this, so it sends the redstone block down here puts it on a little bit of a delay and then activates this triple piston extender which pushes you up um, and into wherever you need to go. So I can basically cover up that. It's lit up and um, blocked in so I don't think any mobs will spawn down there. But just in case we're just going to close it off nice and dark like that. We're actually probably going to uh, close off most of this area here. Um, because we, we want to build up the terrain and make it look natural, right? We want it to look like it's uh, part of the mountain and not like I've covered up something over here. So I think once the grass grows over that, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I think so. Once the grass grows over it, that'll look pretty good. 
Um, but we are not done here, of course. Uh, we are going to do a little bit more because a hole in the ground, that just looks kind of silly. So we need something a little bit fancier uh, in order to open up this entrance. All right, the bad news is I have yet to do anything about the fact that this looks like some sort of deformed mushroom cap. Uh, but the good news is I do have our secret entrance sorted out, so let's go check it out. It's so cool. So um, if we go up here, uh, you'll remember we did have some sort of uh, hole in the ground over here. That shouldn't be there. Um, but if you'll notice, the landscape is just nice and natural. We've got some grass, flowers, uh, snow. There's nowhere really to tell you that you were supposed to enter this building from here. And actually, I'm going to put off the secrets until the morning. <laughs> I need a better way to get up there. Right now I'm still using that ladder that we put up in like the... Gosh, it must have been the second or third episode when we were doing all of that exploring. And I wanted to see what was on top of the mountains. So I put up this ladder out here, and that's how I've been getting up ever since. And I'm thinking that I want to use one of those uh, uh, translocator elevators where the piston kind of pulls you upward that we used for our mob farm, which, by the way, we need to redesign slightly. Um, I think I want one of those going up into a building up here of some sort because that would be that's nice, it's fast, it's cool, um, and those are the things that you look for in a in an elevator, in a mode of transportation, in a developed based such as this. Anyways, yeah, I uh, want to make sure, put this on the to-do list. We want to redesign that building. Uh, when I designed it, I really didn't have any idea what the base was going to look like, so we did the purper and in stone brick, in stone brick, I think that's the name for that block. Um, it's, and I think it looks cool and I'm definitely going to keep it down there, uh, but up here it's going to look out of place if we have a bunch of uh, organic wooden looking buildings. So I'll probably redesign the top building and then just leave the, the bottom parts intact. I don't know, uh, let me know what you think about that. Anyways, uh, <laughs> enough with the suspense building, yes, we have the building. So, the secret entrance, if you're ready for it, is... Ta-da! Here. See? Look. Look, we got in. Nah, I'm just kidding. Alright, I, I want to show you from the outside because it's going to be much cooler than if I show you how to get out from the inside. So, uh, let's see if we can get around to the outside here. Alright, so as we saw earlier, there was a hole over here, and uh, now there's no longer a hole, but the clue is there's a flower here. Check this out. This is gone. Okay, uh, let's try that again. This is a blue orchid. I forgot the name of it, so that's why I punched it. Um, but there, you just saw how this works. So, uh, this is a blue orchid, and they only grow in the swamps. So, if you were coming by here, you might be like, huh, that's kind of weird, why is there a blue orchid here? And now there's no reason you do this, but you might happen to toss a junk item there. And that lets you down in here. Pretty cool, I. Eh? Yeah. Um, so, it's a, it's pretty cramped back here. The it's so much of the redstone in this world, it looks really bad because I'm doing a whole lot of stuff in a really confined space. But basically, how this works is we have our triple piston extender. Let's see, I can get back there without stepping on the pressure plate like this. Uh, triple tri triple piston extender. Wow, that's difficult to say for some reason. Um, underneath this block, so um, when that gets activated, this block goes up one, two, three to where the dirt block is now, and that allows you to just walk right off. Um, also, the dirt block gets retracted so that you don't hit your head. So that's what happens when you hit this pressure plate. So you just walk up here. Super simple. And I don't know if you noticed, but you might be able to see a little something in here. Um, then the other circuit that gets activated is if you toss a junk item onto here, that block gets retracted and then just put back. It's, it's very simple, um, but it's, it's actually kind of cool for what it's doing. So then it puts you down here. The dropper dispenses the item that you just dropped. So um, it doesn't even necessarily have to be a junk item. It could be like I could walk up with, uh, say, my axe or my bow or something like that and then want to get in, so I just toss it there. And then it's waiting for me when I get inside. So then that way, I don't need to have, oh man, I, I really want to have all of my items. If that ever happened for any reason, which is very, very unlikely, um, I would still be able to get in just by tossing whatever on the ground, which is kind of cool. So uh, yeah, I really like this secret entrance wise. It's pretty, pretty well um, hidden. I would like it slightly more if I could take uh, these out but then I would have dirt ceiling and I don't really want to have a dirt ceiling. So as it is, I think this looks pretty natural and organic. I might still do a little bit of terraforming around here um, just to make this kind of blend in a little bit nicer into the hillside. 
But overall, I do think that looks pretty good. Um, and it's really simple to use. You just toss something and you're in. And to get out, you just step on the pressure plate. Very simple. So uh, I guess I should show you the redstone for this. Um, please, 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 please. The redstone is so bad. It's a uh, it's not compact at all. I didn't try to compact it um, because there's a lot of really specific timing you have to do in, in order to get this to work. So basically, you need like uh, for the triple piston extender, you need this block to retract before the piston extender comes up. Otherwise, the log will push this block up to this level, and you don't want that. Um, so this needs to be retract, then the extender comes up, then the extender goes down, This then this needs to uh, go back. So that's a little bit weird and then you also have different timings over here. So what you'll see here is a lot of different repeaters and these are basically mostly just pulse extenders. So uh, let's see. So starting from down here, this is where the triple piston extender gets uh, powered, right? And so this splits off into two different areas. One uh, gets an eight tick delay from these two repeaters before activating the extender itself. Then this line goes up this way and it pa um, with only a two tick delay, um, it powers this, which unpowers the torch and allows the block to retract. So that allows the block to retract first. Then the piston extender goes up. Then around this side, this is having a delay on it as well and that eventually that keeps this on for the entire time and then when this runs out then uh, the block pushes back in. So that's all for the piston extender. Then for the trick that I was doing over here with the item that we throw on the orchid, uh, there's a minecart hopper or hopper with a minecart with a hopper, hopper minecart, I don't know, I forget the exact name for it, but basically inside this block. So uh, it's actually pretty simple, all you need to do, I don't have a minecart on me, let me actually go get one really quick just so that I can demonstrate because uh, it's, it's kind of a tr cool trick if you don't know about it. Um, you can have hopper minecarts uh, pull stuff out of blocks from below. Well, here, let me actually, let me, let me show you instead of just trying to explain. So we've got hoppers, we've got a minecart, we're good to go. How do we have, yes we do. All right, uh, let's do our little demonstration over here. I think so, there's, there's definitely more room on this level. All right, so uh, you can do, there are two different ways you, you can do this. Uh, one way is, I guess let's put that there. You put down your hopper minecart, you have your rail, and you have to craft these, of course. So minecart, hopper makes minecart with hopper. Place it down there, and if you toss down anything on this block, it gets picked up by the hopper through the block, which is pretty cool. Um, but sometimes when your redstone gets a little cramped, uh, you don't actually have that extra block to do that with. So instead you have to do a trick where you actually put it inside the block. And that's actually almost as easy. So you just, let's say we're putting it in inside dirt like I did up there. Uh, let's do that. Sorry, sorry there flower, we're gonna have to get rid of you. Uh, we'll put, let's see, I want that there. Hang on, wait a second, where am I going? We're going into this block, okay. So we'll actually want those like that. So we put our minecart with hopper. By the way, this is a glitch. It still says minecart with hopper, even though it got broken. Put that there, and then we want to break out the rail. So it's just sort of resting there. You can get the rail back if you want it. Then we'll put a block here and get ourselves a sticky piston or a regular piston, doesn't really matter. Uh, you just want to make sure that in 1.10, the translocation bug can cause it to pull the hopper back. So, uh, when you power it, it'll push it into a block. Then you want to break the piston, not the redstone block, like that. And now you can see that the hopper, is act or hopper minecart is actually inside this block, so everything gets picked up, just like that. And actually, can you access it? Now, you probably have to move it a little bit to access it. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's the trick that I used to get the hopper minecart inside one of the dirt blocks up there. And that's why when you toss stuff down on the blue orchid, it disappears. So in case that was unclear, um, you know that that's why the stuff is disappearing. It's actually entering a hopper minecart, and that is what allows it to go into our system. Um, and the system is very simple. We're just basically detecting when something enters it. Whenever I toss something on the ground, uh, I want to send out a signal that says, "Hey, somebody's out there. Let them in." So what happens is 
whenever you toss something on this blue orchid, let's go down through this way, um, there is a hopper mine cart there, and it goes into the dropper right here. Then from the dropper, there's a comparator that says, hey, if there's anything in here, send out a redstone pulse this way, and that basically tells the dropper to spit it out, and it tells the piston to retract. So uh, pretty simple. It's basically all of that redstone in there is just for timing purposes. So yeah, it's, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get everything to work just at the right time, but this seems to do the trick pretty well. So yeah, um, I'm definitely happy with that, and uh, I think it works relatively well. Of course, we can always use this if we want to get up and down. But anyways, guys, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a little bit of a short episode because, man, it took me a while. Like, it took me an embarrassingly long time to get that to work, uh, mostly just because of the timing. But, yeah, but it, it, I think the end result is pretty cool. And once I get this building a little bit more fleshed out and have, have some more stuff like that poking through the roof just so that it breaks up all of that monotone uh, brown a little bit more. It's definitely going to look a lot better and I think it'll be a, a pretty cool building. I like the way it's overhanging here and it has this little balcony platform thing hanging down from it. I don't know, it's, uh, it's interesting. So, you know, base is starting to come together. We've got this building over here, we've got this one over here. Haven't really got anything in them yet, um, but that'll come eventually. So I think that we're going to start trying to move our stuff into these new permanent buildings, right? We've been living in this cave for far too long. So I'm going to move our enchanting, probably not the farms, probably the nether portal, we'll move that. Uh, we'll get a brewing room, we'll get a storage room, furnace room, all of those things that you would expect a proper base to have. Uh, elevators, uh, infrastructure, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be cool, I think, when we finally get this... A uh, little bit more complete, but you know, it's a work in progress and for now I think we've made quite a bit of good progress today With our building so anyways hope that you guys enjoyed the video Thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy then please hit that like button and consider subscribing And I will see you in the next video